we are asked to sketch a graph of the function f of theta equals three times cosine of the quantity theta minus pi over two plus one. Let's begin by determining the values of a, b, d, and c of the cosine function in this form here, which will indicate the type of transformation. First, notice a is equal to three, and the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of a, and therefore the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of three, which is three. Because a is positive, we do not have a reflection across the midline, so let's indicate no reflection. Notice here we have cosine of b times the quantity x minus d, where x is the variable, and in our function we just have cosine of the quantity theta minus pi over two, where theta is the variable, and therefore b is equal to one. And two pi divided by b is equal to the period, and therefore two pi divided by b is two pi divided by one, which is two pi, so the period is equal to two pi. D is equal to positive pi over two, because to find D we must have subtraction here. So because D is equal to positive pi over two, we have a phase shift right pi over two radians. So the phase shift is right pi over two. And then finally C is equal to positive one. Because C is equal to positive one, we have a vertical shift of up one unit. Because we have a vertical shift of up one unit, the midline is no longer the x-axis or y equals zero, it is y equals one. So to graph the function, let's first graph the midline, which is y equals one. Because the amplitude is positive three, we know the maximum cosine function value is going to be one plus three or four, and the minimum cosine function value is going to be one minus three or negative two. We normally start graphing the cosine function along the y-axis, but because we have a phase shift of right pi over two units, we'll begin our graph here at x equals pi over two. From here, because the period is two pi radians, if we add two pi to pi over two or one half pi, we get two and a half pi or five halves pi, and therefore we'll have one complete graph of our cosine function from pi over two to five pi over two, which is here. And now to graph the cosine function, we divide the period into four equal subintervals. So let's go ahead and do that. When graphing the basic cosine function over one period, remember the pattern is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. And we will follow this pattern exactly because we do not have a reflection across the midline. So starting at x equals pi over two, we will have a maximum of four, and then again, the pattern will be midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. And now we can make a nice graph of the given function, which will look something like this. Continuing the graph to the left, we would be back to the midline at x equals zero, and then off the screen, we'd be down to a minimum. To the left, the graph would look something like this. To graph this in our homework, we can use either of these tools. I would probably use this tool because we have a cosine function where we can just click on a minimum and a maximum or a maximum and a minimum. So if we click on this tool here, we can simply just click, let's say on this maximum and then this minimum, and it'll complete the graph for us. I hope you found this helpful.